Hi guys, I'm Stelios. I'm Randy. Welcome to Random Reviews. We're gonna start reviewing movies because I can't buy enough things on Amazon. And I have the time to go watch the movies. Yeah, that too. Images by Boss Logic. Credit to him, he did a really good job. Yeah, that. amazing poster. So Stelios, did you like it more or less than Spider-Man Homecoming? I liked it. It's not perfect. It's got its problems, but on the same point, it's still a Spider-Man movie, so it gets thumbs up for me, the simple fact that we get it. Uh, as far as the ending to the Phase 3 of the Avengers, not a good idea. It was very half-fested. I think Spider-Man works well as a standalone character, and I see it. They tried to do that in this movie. Yeah. They created plot devices so that he was kind of on his own, uh, aside from Mysterio. But I just felt like, and I told you this in theater, I felt as though the ending th wasn't earned. As fun as it was, it doesn't compare to Spider-Man 2 for me, the Sam Raimi No, film. it'll never compare to Spider-Man 2, but that's okay. We mm, don't. That's we, fine. We won't get those movies again, and that's fine. Yeah. Uh, this is a good time. You don't have to get drunk. Get drunk. Get high. <laughs> My recommendation is see the movie, take a couple of days, and if you like it, that's great. If you don't, then you can move on with your life because at the end of the day, they're gonna make another 30 movies. Of course. So what's and the difference, right? I'm looking forward to. Okay, so the mid credit scene. Spoiler. Fuck it. Let's Thank talk you. spoilers. Thank spoilers. You. you have 10 seconds. Eight seven six five four three two one. Okay, okay, yeah. So uh, mid credit scene. Like J.K. Simmons, they brought J.K. Simmons back. And, and J. Jonah Jameson. And that's great. And I mean, yeah. like, if if you heard about it now, well, you know, great, you spoiled yourself. It was but awesome. The yeah, scene, yeah. The way they did it, they just had him kind of like rah, 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 Spider Man. And yeah. That was it. And that's all it needed to be. That's yeah. that's it. It was great. It was great. Oh, and then there was the uh, everyone finds out that Peter Parker's Spider Man, and J. Jonah Jameson is the one who reveals it. I don't know where they're gonna take the series from here, but I am excited to see it. Okay, so Spider Man Far From Home. Thumbs up. Give it, I give it. I'll give it one. Okay, out of ten. Out, not out of ten. Everyone does out of ten. What do you watch? Go see it or don't see it. I think it's pretty simple. Go see it or don't see it. Yeah. So go see go, it. Go or, see it. Yeah. It was worth it. Yeah. It was. It's, if you've already stuck through all these other movies, what the hell are you doing here? It's better go than Captain it. Marvel. Oh, they shit on Peter this time. Yes, they shit on Peter. So, any movie, any Spider-Man movie that shits on Peter Parker, and I was saying to Randy in the movie, I was like, they shit. On yeah. Shit on it more, shit on it more. Yep. Honestly, if you shit on Peter Parker and have him evolve through character development on that aspect, that's that's the most important thing. That's what makes him relatable, right? And a lot of this movie was not just the shitting on Peter Parker, but it was trying to make him say, hey, listen, you're going to be the next Iron Man. You're going to be, who's who's going to be? It's going to be you, right? It's going to be you. It's going to be you. And there's, and then it's not. It, it felt like Iron Man 1 and 3 mixed into a Spider Man movie. And I don't know how else to say this because they even brought up Iron Man 1 Those scenes. are the best Iron Man movies. It's uh, a good one. Yeah, they are you, sick you know what I'm talking about? Significantly better than this film, and I'm yeah. a Spider-Man diehard fan. Yeah, so. they're better than this one, but yeah. in, in a different way, though. In many ways, in like every way. No, no, I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't best, agree with okay, that. best scene in the movie. Best scene in the movie. What do you think? From Far From Home. Yeah. When he's talking to Happy in the jet after he got hit by a plane, and oh, like that's finally when they. I don't know what it was with Homecoming. It was the same thing. At that, when he was under the rubble, it became a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. And this Peter Parker, he's, he's feeling defeated, and all of a sudden, right, he's like ready to go. Happy's giving him this pep talk, and he's like, "You're never going to be Iron Man." And as soon as that happened, yeah, he's punching up. He's right? Punching up. Spider as soon as that happened, up. okay, they they finally removed the Iron Man aspect to this, right? Yes, there's still things about Iron Man that are prevalent throughout and the ending of the movie. Sense, that's yeah. fine. That's that's not a problem. But Spider-Man becomes a Spider-Man movie at that point as yep. soon as he's talking to Happy in the gym and the, I, only at that point I was like this is a great Spider-Man movie <laughs> honestly yeah. it, it's true that that and then the, like the the final scene was okay the mid credit scene I think was better than the entire fucking movie he was swinging mid through Manhattan yeah. Yeah. On top of that, my favorite scene was the Mysterio reveal. That was handled it very was well. Almost like a musical. It was kind of weird, but it was right. funny, uh, and that I really liked. So anyway, so you got to the spoiler territory. But thanks for watching. That's pretty much it. We yeah, will agree. It. We just agree check it out. Just just go watch the movie. Yeah. Make your own damn decisions about it. You filthy pilgrims. Yes. I don't, don't know if that's the sure. Do we even have pilgrims? <laughs> no. All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs>